Georgiana, and in this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how you can grow your Periscope following and increase the views on your scopes. So for you guys that don't know what Periscope is, definitely check out my post on gorgeousandgray.com where I go all into detail about what Periscope is and how you can use it. It's an amazing live streaming app that allows you to broadcast live from wherever you are and it also allows you to watch other people who are using the app live as they broadcast what's going on with their lives and you can comment and give hearts and you don't know if you don't know what any of that means you definitely need to go check out the app the app was actually released for iphones back in march and then in may it was released for android devices so now it's really booming because everyone has access to it and it's really starting to take off as a great platform it's already seen three million views sure that works and it's wow. only been around for three months so it's really becoming a popular app but people are kind of wondering if i want to get on there how am i going to get followers and how am i going to get people to actually watch watch my watch my video so i'm going to give you guys five tips on how you can increase your followers and how you can get people to watch your scopes when you go live so tip number one Close your box. is to watch scopes and to engage so before you even start worrying about your own scope and getting people to watch the scope first thing you want to do is just create your account and start watching other scopes and then engage you can watch videos like this or videos right on scope that give you some best practices on how to actually use the app you know and make sure you read up on how to use the app in the android device and on the 
horoscopers. With Periscope, just like any other social media, typically people in your same field, you may already be following them, you may already have relationships with them, you already may know, know of them. So the same thing goes with Periscope. I have ladies that are in my circle, people that I know support me, I support them. And so what I don't want to do is go live and broadcast at a time when I know that they already are going to be having a broadcast. For example, Trendy Socialite, at Trendy Socialite on Periscope, she does a scope every night, Monday through Thursday at 10 p.m. So it would not make sense for me to also go live at 10 o'clock. Why? Because number one, I want to support her in her scope. And then the other thing is, if I want her to support me, how can she support me and share that I'm live with her followers and she's in the midst of a scope herself. So definitely respect the times that you already know other people are scoping. Before you go live, you know, check out Periscope. See, is any of my, anybody in my circle live right now before I go ahead and start scoping? If so, you may want to wait until another time. If you know um, someone in your circle has a specific time, consider doing your scope maybe 30 minutes to an hour prior to it and then pay it forward and let everybody know that you're about to join this particular scope and that they should join it too. So that's a great way to get support, build camaraderie, up your followers and up your views because you're not competing with people who are in your circle who would love to send, um, send followers and send viewers your way. My fourth tip is to come up with a real strategy for Periscope. Decide what it is that you're going to use it for. If you just want to use it for personal things, that's one thing. Do that. If you want to use it for a little bit of both, a little bit of personal, and a little bit of business, that's fine. Or if you want to use it strictly as a business tool, that's fine. But definitely come up with a strategy for how you're going to use it. And that will help you be more focused. The same sort of principles apply with Periscope as they do with YouTube as far as increasing followers and increasing views. And that is to have a plan, maybe even come up with a schedule so people kind of know that you are go live around this day, around this time, every time people know to come looking for you. Also, when you kind of have a plan, it helps you better plan what you're going to title the scope, which helps with people wanting to be interested in what it is you're going to talk about and actually check it check it out and view it again you don't have to do it all plan you don't have to do it all structured you don't have to do that but if people can kind of know that they can count on you maybe on a certain day of the week or a certain time of the day is when you generally scope and you can kind of put that out there that can be a huge help to get the engagement and the followers that you're looking for and the fifth tip for gaining followers scopes is to be your best self on Periscope. Make sure everything is set up correctly. Make sure you have great lighting so your video comes in great. Make sure your Wi-Fi is great. You want to make sure you put your best foot forward. Even though it's a live streaming app and, and it's very fun and it's a lot of fun to kind of see people live and not necessarily so structured as with like a YouTube video with the editing and whatnot. Still doesn't mean you don't want to your best foot forward you know be your best self don't try to imitate and do what you see other people doing on periscope how they're talking what they're saying you know uh some periscopers will say give me hearts give me hearts give me hearts or they may say you know certain things that they may want you to do or they may say oh i'm, I'm going for this heart goal or whatever if that's not your thing then you don't have to do that speak in your own voice be genuine be true to yourself me personally that's not me. I don't have a heart goal per se. Um, and whenever I do a scope, I'm not I'm not going to ask for the viewers to help me get to a certain number of scopes. But I know other scopers that do, and that's fine because that's what they're using the Periscope platform for. So do what's true to you. Don't you don't want to watch scopes and you see how that person is saying things? You say, oh, that's what I'm. I gotta say it that too. I have to do it like that too. You don't. But make sure whatever you do is your best. You don't want to be somebody else because everybody else is already taken. People join live stream because they want to see you and who you really are. And keep in mind that if people aren't seeing something that they're going to really enjoy watching,
I do too, Annie. Yeah, it it makes it more fun. Most people do show their face. I want to show people what I'm experiencing. Andrew, put your favorite tip. Mashallah. Follow Andrew, guys. Follow Drew. You saw him. Follow Drew. It's Drew MSP. Follow him. I just did.